You are now watching The Curl Poppy. What's up, YouTube? Hello, okay, my name is Christian Ramos, and I'm the one, the only, The Curl Poppy. And today I have a different kind of video for you guys because I'm going to be shopping for hair accessories at Dollar Tree. Okay, so the reason why we're shopping for hair accessories at Dollar Tree, don't get me wrong, I love me a good Dollar Tree if you can find a good one because sometimes a lot of them be slacking. But anyway, every time I go to my friend Carlise's house, I always end up borrowing a hair accessory like a hair tie, a clip, or anything, right? And I end up taking them home with me because I'm like, if you don't need this, let me just have it. But I always ask her, where does she get her hair accessories from? And she's like, Dollar Tree. So that I no longer have to steal Carlise's hair accessories anymore. Let's go take a look and see what I can find in the hair section at Dollar Tree. So this location we're at is actually in Middle Village, Queens. If you are from Brooklyn, you already know that either they are closing them down in Brooklyn or they are just not hitting. But this one is super clean, organized, and they always keep the shelves stocked. So I'm not gonna lie, it did take me a minute to find the hair accessories section at Dollar Tree because again, I've never shopped for hair accessories at Dollar Tree, but eventually we did find it and they did have a variety of stuff to choose from. But the first thing I gravitated towards were these spray bottles because these spray bottles, you can only usually find them at beauty supply stores and they are not a dollar baby. And these are perfect to refresh your curls and styles throughout the week just by adding water and conditioner. Not gonna lie, I was excited to see that they had a bunch of styling tools like white tooth combs, detangling brushes, wet brushes, they even had a scalp massaging brush, which I already owned so I wasn't paying too much attention to. But the fact that you can find these at the low low because usually finding a styling brush, you're paying like five, ten dollars for them if you go to like Walgreens, Target, or any other stores like that. And me specifically for a set like these of these brushes, one time I paid like $10 and I should have just came here and paid a dollar. This location had a variety of head wraps, hair clips, headbands, but I was mostly interested in getting hair ties. That's really why I came in here. But the fact that they do have a variety of accessories that you can use in your hair and for your hair, I'm not mad at it, not mad at all. So the main purpose of this trip was me finding scrunchies and hair ties that were going to cause the least amount of damage and breakage to my hair because y'all already know, not all scrunchies and hair ties are created equal. Some of them will break your hair, they'll tangle your hair, and honestly, after doing a big chop, my biggest, 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 biggest focus is making sure that we are causing the least amount of damage to our hair and getting hair ties and scrunchies that are made more of cloth and silk even satin that is the way to go because listen i love me a good sleek ponytail but when you're tying your hair too tight and you have the wrong hair tie your hair is going to break but i will say this location did have a large variety of items to choose from and it was honestly a little overwhelming but i wasn't upset i was able to find what i was looking for and just when i thought i was done i found this little corner that had so many good gems you already know you need that hair pick to fluff up those curls and get that volume they also had a scalp massager which is great for blood flow to your scalp i found these shower caps in sets of eight and six they had some bonnets they also had some larger comb sets which these are great for the shower actually and it has a uh, hair pick inside they had some scrubs some more white tooth combs they had more bonnets and even look at this gem when have you ever seen a cheap microfiber towel and just like that we are going to pay for our items and can't wait to show you guys what I bought once I get home I ain't gonna lie, I OD'd a little bit because we did spend $20. And you know, in today's day and age with inflation, it's more like 40. But if you are like me, I don't know what is going on. In my house, there has to be a gremlin that comes at night and just takes all of your hair ties, scrunchies, and other accessories. Because whenever I'm looking for something, I never find any. And when I tell you that I buy in bulk just because they go missing, I don't know, I don't know because that something, something's happening. Something's happening because there's no way that I spend so much money on hair ties and accessories and whenever I need one, not, there's there's no one, there's not one any to be found. Like literally, 
they go missing. So we did spend $20 on accessories. So the first thing I did spend money on was hair ties and we got a couple of them. So these in particular, the hair spirals, I love these because number one, they do not tug or pull on your hair. You literally just put your hair in a bun or a ponytail, snap that bad boy on and you're good to go. Some people like to double tie. After my big chop, I'm a bald headed hoe so I do not have to worry about that. Um, also, these in particular were the ones that I was looking for because these are the ones that Curly's be having. And listen, the fact that they are of a softer material, they are more of a microfiber material, they are not going to cause damage to my hair. This one is a pack of five, this one's a pack of three. Obviously, some of you might want to go with the pack of five because for the same price you get more, but these are larger. So these are just quick and easy, tie your hair up, good to go. And then you cannot go wrong with the trusty, dusty uh, elastic bands. These in particular are coated in more of a fabric material. So again, the main purpose of getting these accessories is to prevent as much breakage and damage as possible. I always have luck with these. My hair doesn't get tangled in these. And these are gonna be uh, interesting new addition to the collection. The next thing we spent money on was hair tools. So listen, you can't go wrong with having extra picks. There is one that I have from Can2 that is like a double layer and listen, that baby be working wonders on me, but one of the teeth broke not so long ago, so I do need to replace it. I didn't wanna spend too much money on a hair pick and again, you can't beat a dollar and these are pretty good. Um, listen, my trusty, dusty wire tooth comb. When I am in the shower after finger detangling, I love to pass a wide tooth comb to make sure that I am spreading and detangling all of my hair. Uh, so you cannot go wrong with a wide tooth comb and I got it for a dollar. This, when I tell you that on a comb set at Dwayne Reed, I literally spent $10 because I needed Listen, I just needed a little comb with a pointy tip to separate my hair. It was an emergency, I know. They didn't have one by itself, so I ended up buying a set. And when I tell you it was $10, and literally, this comes with the same amount. This brings 12, actually. It brings more than the one that I bought at Dwayne Reed. But when I tell you that this brings literally the same type of combs, I'm stupid. I'm stupid. So you can't go wrong with combs. The next thing I got was a little water bottle spray. I do have my favorite hair mister. I love a good mist, but sometimes, listen, it's good to have these around. I love, 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 love to do my black tea rinses, and this is probably what I'm gonna be using that for because I don't like putting the black tea rinses inside of my mister, so this is gonna be good for that. And listen, you, like I said earlier in the video, you can use this to refresh your curls every day. Add some water, add some conditioner, or some leave-in. Bam, 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 bam. Scrunch it out. You're good to go. And listen, these are not typically a dollar. So the fact that they have these at Dollar Tree for a dollar, love it. Shower caps. You cannot go wrong with shower caps. Listen, whenever you are in the shower and you put a hair mask in your hair, putting these over it to give it that extra heat and moisture that it needs to penetrate into your cuticle. Listen, the fact that they have it in sets of eight and in sets of six, you can't go wrong. So why not double up? I did get these because I thought the colors were cute, but honestly, having the clear ones, amazing. And then also, these are reusable. So stack up, stack it up, stack, stack, stack it up. Listen, y'all know I just love spending money on things that I really don't need because I can literally just use my fingers and get in there and massage my scalp and bring in that circulation of blood flow. But uh, this was cute and it was pink and I'm in love with things that are pink. So I'm gonna be, you know, massaging my scalp with this scalp massager. And it was only a dollar, so come on, why not? So these I'm really interested in, these are bonnets. I wanna open them up to see if they are, you know, even worth getting because I do have uh, silk and satin bonnets. This, oh, okay, this is doesn't look too bad. Uh, oh, okay, oh, yeah, this is just a basic bonnet. This is pretty good. It's actually a good size too. Well, for me, because I'm a bowhead at home. But this is not a bad size. Hold on, let me see. <laughs> okay, we like her. She cute, she holds all the hair in place and when I go to sleep, 
I'm not gonna be causing friction to my hair. A dollar, baby, a dollar. All right, so let me see this one. I don't know if this is gonna be a larger one or what, but, oh. Oh, this is actually, all right, so they said bonnet on the packaging, right? Does it say bonnet? Yeah, it says bonnet, but this is actually a do-rag. So whenever I braid my hair, I have an addition to, uh, Ooh, this is a look. Ooh, this is a look. We could go outside like this, baby. But whenever I do braid my hair, I have an extra bandana. And it was a dollar. You know these are not a dollar in the beauty supply store. So the fact that, and this is actually a really good quality. I'm not going to lie. I do have a bunch of bandanas. And for a dollar, this ain't bad. We here for it. Yeah. And last but not least, I was able to find a microfiber towel in Dollar Tree. If you've been watching my videos for a while, y'all know that I have the Turby Twist. And this looks like it is a, a Turby Twist as well, like the style at least, that it turns into a turban. And I didn't even know that they had stuff like this in Dollar Tree because these, baby, these are expensive. These ain't cheap. Uh, but yeah, oh, it's 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 a little smaller than the one that I'm used to, but honestly, for a dollar, you can get a microfiber towel for your hair. That's a turban. Should I do? Should I should I put it on and see what it looks like? I should do it. Whatever. We're already making this video. Why not? I'm gonna front. Now all of my hair fits in here. So as soon as I saw it, I knew that it was a little bit small. So I'm not even gonna try it because. Listen, we ain't trying to disturb the curls because I'm giving you good hair day today, yes. But anyway, um, even though I cannot put all of my hair in here, and I'm sure obviously my hair is not gonna be as bouncy and voluminous as it is now when it's wet, you can still use this to pat dry your hair, you know, and scrunch your hair, scrunch your product out. So it's still a good microfiber towel, and the fact that it was a dollar, when I tell you I've had plenty of microfiber towels, and I'm always paying $15, $20 for them. This is not a bad deal. It's a dollar. All right, guys, if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know down below in the comments where you love to shop for hair accessories. If you've bought hair accessories at Dollar Tree before, which are your favorite ones to get? And also let me know which one, if you live in New York at least, which location is your favorite Dollar Tree? Because listen, the one in Middle Village is a little bit ways out for me considering I live in Brooklyn, but I do get a good bike ride out of it. So I don't mind taking the bike ride over there. It's like 30 minutes going and coming, which is not bad. But let me know down below in the comments, which one is your favorite location? Where do you love getting your hair accessories? What are some of your favorite hair accessories that you own that, listen, that you just can't live without? Because a lot of these actually, other than the scalp massager, I need all of these in my arsenal, baby. But anyway, follow me on Instagram at the Curl Poppy because you already know I'll be posting some fleeky pics out here. And until next time, guys, bye.